employer liability for the torts of independent contractors. Now, recall earlier that we said that the general rule is that the employer is not going to be liable for the torts of an independent contractor as opposed to a servant. Remember, in a prior module, we went over how to distinguish an independent contractor from a servant. The general rule is that the employer is liable for the torts of a servant committed within the scope of employment. However, the general rule is that the employer is not liable for the torts of independent contractors, even if that tort is committed within the scope of employment, unless one of the several exceptions to the general rule applies. Now, these exceptions in practice tend to apply so often that arguably the general rule of non-liability has become the exception in its own right. There are so many exceptions, it's so easy for them to apply. Courts are so often eager for them to apply that 